Air Force Hazmat team is combined of the uh, emergency management and the bioenvironmental engineering flights. And the bioenvironmental engineering has contracted us to provide uh, combined training and exercises for the flights across uh, Air Combat Command and also uh, Pacific Air, Air Forces. And so this is our first trip of the, of the new uh, training program. Uh, we've had uh, a day and a half of training and we're going to uh, spend the afternoon uh, in a scenario. We're going to be uh, simulating out here that uh, this is at the wing headquarters building and uh, the team has to come and assess uh, what has happened and detect what was uh, released and then uh, recommend to the incident commander the appropriate uh, way to deal with the situation. When they get here, they don't know anything. We ask them to come with what we call an on all hazards approach to not rule anything out until they've actually uh, done some uh, measurements, different instruments and such. Uh, so they, they don't know anything except what they, what they get told by the incident commander as they arrive and they've got to start eliminating possibilities to come to the, the proper conclusion. If there are two people going into the, uh, into the hot zone, as we call it, we hope that one of them is a bioenvironmental engineer and one of them is an emergency management specialist to get that uh, so they can play off each other's skills because they have got different, different skill sets. So this will give them the opportunity to, uh, to work in an integrated fashion that they don't get to do on a regular basis. So that's the big thing is just learning how to deal, uh, first of all, with each other in a, in a team and also how to deal with an incident commander because they don't often get to play. Most of the, uh, the exercises that the Air Force hold don't go into this much detail. 